Hello everyone, this is Will with HODL HODL Exchange and today I'm going to demonstrate how to begin using Bitcoin with the Electrum wallet. And first we need a wallet because we need a place to hold and store our money. So just like a wallet in the physical world in that we need a place to hold and store our money, for a digital currency we need an app. And Electrum is a great free wallet. Electrum.org is the official website we want to go to here. And the download button at the top. And then Linux, Windows, Mac. I will click Windows Installer and pause the video while this downloads. All right, great. The next step is to click the installer Yes, install, and this just takes a few seconds to complete here. Next, we're going to open the Electrum app. Installation complete, close, and then this shortcut link auto appeared on our desktop. I'll just double click this. And first, we're going to be asked about the server. So auto connect is good. Default wallet, you can name your wallet, whatever you would like. Standard wallet is good. So the seed is the most important concept to understand here. It's the most important thing to know. The seed is a key to our money and to our wallet. So we have to protect this seed. Uh, so for example, if you already have a seed though, you can just click, I already have a seed, click next then input your seed, which is all seeds are 12 random words. And you can customize it, but uh, seeds are typically 12 random words here. And seeds are so great because you can travel internationally with no physical possessions and memorize your seed. And then in a new country, you can get access to a computer and the internet and then Download Electrum and enter your seed here and then get access to all of your money. So we're going to click create a new seed. And as we can see, it's 12 random words. Never disclose your seed. Don't tell it to anyone. Never type it on a website. It's best to store it offline. Do not store it electronically. So memorizing this is the best option because if someone gets your seed, then they can access all of your money. So even if you write it down on a piece of paper, store that paper in your wallet, and then lose your wallet, and someone finds a piece of paper with 12 random words on it, they can recognize it is a seed, and then get access to your money. So memorizing it really is the best option. So the seed is very important to protect, keep it safe, secure. So for the purposes of this video, I will just paste it here because we're being prompted and asked to reproduce our seed because if we cannot reproduce it, then it won't even let us continue. So if you're following along, you might want to write it down on a piece of paper. But like I said, you have to protect the seed um, very carefully and securely because it's the most important thing. Likewise, if you lose your seed, you lose access to your money. So you can't go so far in protecting it that you protect it from yourself. So, you, so that's why just memorizing it is really the best option. Next, we're creating a password. Test, 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 test is weak. So if we had a one to it, it does become medium. You of course want a strong password. Address being generated. So we have our seed, the password we created, and our address here. Our address, much like a physical mailing address, is where you would receive a package to. So for Bitcoin, your receiving address is your wallet's address, and that's where you receive money to. So this is all you would need to give someone in order to receive money. So for example, here I just copied it to the clipboard. So if I wanted to give my address to someone, I could paste it in an email or just send it to somebody, and they would have my address. That's all you need to receive money. Give that to someone and then your balance would reflect that ultimately if the transaction was confirmed and completed. So 
Here we can see a QR code. This is commonly used by businesses. They'll just send you a QR code like this, not even copy and paste their wallet's receiving address. So you would just use a free QR code scanner reader on your, on your cell phone and uh, scan this, and then it would auto display and link to their receiving address for their wallet. It will typically also contain the amount of Bitcoins you owe as well, just to communicate all the information uh, related to the transaction in one QR code. So there's our receiving address. To send, we go to the send tab and we just enter in someone else's Bitcoin wallet or whichever wallet you want to send money to. Uh, you can also send money to your own wallet if you wanted to have two wallets, for example, like a hot wallet and a cold wallet. The cold wallet is like your savings. You rarely do transactions or you never do transactions with the outside world with it. You only send it to yourself and then in the, the the hot wallet is the one you use to buy dinner and and so it's like a filter a second layer so pay to you would just enter in the receiving address of where you want to send the money the amount of bitcoins you want to send this is defaulted into milli bitcoins so 1000 is one but let's go to tools preferences appearance base unit bitcoin so they're just one bitcoin so for dinner it might be 0 0.0016 just the pending so the higher the fee you pay, the sooner the transaction will be confirmed and completed. So it might take about 10 minutes, or if you pay a smaller fee, it might take an hour or more, just depending on network traffic. So that is it. That's how you receive. You just give your receiving address, send. You would click send and then be prompted for the password we just created a minute ago, the test test one. History, you can see your recent transactions, which is nice. Also, you can go to our exchange at hodlhodl.com to begin trading Bitcoin, as well as if you want to just experiment with testnet Bitcoins, which have no value, you can go to the testnet version of our exchange, which is testnet.hodlhodl.com. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel below. We'll have more videos and also, you can follow us on Twitter at HodlHodl. Thank you for watching.